Hey everybody, welcome back. To, I keep hitting this flipping glass here to uh, Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I'm doing it! I, I would feel worse about doing like four lost non-daily videos in a row if they had been bad videos. But I feel like, you know, we made it to Mom's Heart on the last one and that was the worst one. The two before it made it to Mega Satan. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a freaking shot here. I am resisting the temptation to just restart this run right here. I'll tell you that much. If we didn't have Holy Mantle, I'd be out of this room in a heartbeat. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm trying. I hope that's clear. I'm, I'm doing my darndest here to make this actually work. And for the most part, I think it's working out okay. You know, I don't expect to win the first run against Mega Satan. If we were just doing it to. Uh, to Isaac, I might as well show you the seed here, I guess, but if we were just doing it to Isaac, I would probably expect to have a better chance. MS1MTN6E. But, uh, you know, I embrace the challenge. This is one thing I hope is, is clear with my, you know, Isaac play and the way that I choose to play Isaac is that I embrace the challenge. I try to embrace the absurdity and I respect that, you know, you, you grow from challenges like this. So, hopefully this, this little stretch makes us a better player and at least we're not doing fucking... Lilith Mega Satan runs again like we did for like a month and a half. That's not a really a month and a half, but it was it felt like it at times. Uh sure, best bud. Man, it it just does nothing for us. But as I always say, it does set us up for, you know, potentially a panic reroll if we if we choose to take advantage of that. Uh basically we got a flatworm and a key on this room. Flatworm's probably worth just about a key, as long as it doesn't stop us from getting, you know, our next item room or anything like that. So as a refresher, how does this work? Well, um, we need a bomb by our third floor. We need to be holding a bomb when we go into our third floor. We need to skip our devil deal. Or we need to find a way to play self-sacrifice rooms as the lost. Or hope for just dad's key to show up. But, you know, if we're hoping for dad's key to show up, the odds of dad's key showing up are probably like 1% per pedestal or something like that. Um, depending on the room that you're in, of course. It could be zero, it could be... One. <laughs> One is probably as good as it gets, but, uh, you know, I, I think the odds of us getting a, a really powerful run without deals with the angel are probably, or without deals with the devil, I should say, using only deals with the angel are probably better than the odds of us getting dad's key, even cumulatively, over the course of, you know, one or a couple of runs. So, that's my strategy on that. Shot speed plus range up effectively here. It's okay. It's pretty much how I feel about this run right now. It's all right. Be nice to teleport to a deal with the uh, devil right now, just to be able to like officially say no to any of the items on it. But no such luck so far. No real reason to go to our. Oh wait, that's um, a potential crawl space. If we get enough bombs, I'll try. Okay, we have enough bombs. I'll take a look. But remember, we can't take advantage of a black market, unfortunately. I mean, we could, but we shouldn't. I guess is what I'm trying to say. But it is. Uh... Not a black market, instead it's Bumbo. This is a very interesting situation. I mean, we, we can't dispute that Bumbo is a great item. We'll stop picking up money and we'll try to give Bumbo... Um, I mean, I guess we could sleep in the bed for no reason. We'll try to give Bumbo all of the money that we can find. That way Bumbo can um, hit max level. You know, if I pick up BFF or something like that and I just go hide out over a rock, this will make a lot of rooms much easier. It's not going to guarantee us a win by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it can be very, very worthwhile if it works out right for us. So, P Pula Duplex, I guess, I mean, I don't know whether to say it synergizes with um, with our already wide shots from Flatworm, or if it's kind of like they cannibalize one another, but uh, I guess I'm happy to have it either way. I think Pupula Duplex is at the very least a fun item that is not demonstrably bad. Trying to just get like a single penny for Bumbo here. Nothing nothing so far. We could blow up our donation machine to make that happen actually, but blowing up the donation machine gives you a much better chance of a deal with the, uh, the devil, unfortunately. And we're gonna be trying to finagle a deal with the angel, so it doesn't really work for us. That's for you, okay. We also, if I, if I continue this run to its logical end point of giving Bumbo every single uh, bit of money that we find, I'm not gonna be able to donate to our deal with the uh, well, deal with the angel machine is what I'm going to call it for now, but it's really a donation machine. Uh, and that would be unfortunate, because it does increase our chances, but I think maybe 
We can probably live without it. It's probably optional. And then just <clears throat> let Bumbo hit max level to hopefully avoid the same fate that's happened to us on every single Mega Satan run that we've tried with a loss. At least when we've gotten to Mega Satan. Oh my god. When you whiff on the the shots against the head, it is like a 10-shot uh, like penalty once the spider comes alive. God, I hate that attack. Remember before when Ragman like never did that attack except for very special circumstances? Those were the days. Now he spawns two fucking spiders every 10 seconds. I mean, it makes him a little bit more balanced, I guess. Unfortunately. We haven't been hit on this room yet. I'm not sweating it. We are going to get um, a deal with the devil, of course. And hopefully it's got actual items in it so I can get the credit for saying no to it. Oh, come on. You're one hit away from dying, or two hits away from dying, but still, you're close to death. Maybe Pageant Boy would be a nice little Kickstarter here. Instead, we get a Tears upgrade. Also, nothing to complain about, um, but unfortunately, obviously, we can't take Rotten Baby. That's okay. Life goes on. At least it's not like, you know, Ceremonial Robes, Pentagram, or something like that. Just a hypothetical, throwing it out there, just in case. Well, I'd say that we're probably on a, a just about an average run right now. This floor is where things start to get um, more interesting. Okay, that's a bad start. I hate this, like, series of enemies here. Get them a little confused, maybe. Um, I hate the enemies that create more enemies when they die. I also hate that they shoot when they die. It's like every combination of bad enemy mechanics. Well, not bad mechanics, but mechanics that I don't particularly like. Weird. Um, with Papula Duplex, we probably don't need Flatworm. And uh, Red Chest could be valuable. We don't really want Spirit Hearts, but, you know, teleportations to a deal with the Angel would be nice. Shots are still quite large. Um, and, I don't know, maybe, maybe Red Chest items, like Guppy items? If we could transform into Guppy, I would be pretty stoked. We do need to maintain a bomb on this floor, so not looking for a secret room yet. We need a couple of bombs to drop before that's uh, a plausible outcome for us. Could go to our shop, but without money, doesn't guarantee us a bomb. It doesn't guarantee us a bomb at the best of times, but, um, you know, you could feel like it's relatively likely. Just go down the Isaac flow chart, as I like to call it. Little Chad is terrible for us right now. By the way, if you're, like, sick of these lost runs, I understand. I'm trying to get it out because I feel like I have momentum right now, but, um... I accept that uh, I'm gonna have to go back to the Keeper sooner rather than later. Speed down is real nasty. I can see forever is, is actually quite nice. Unfortunately, Bumbo will not be able to get any of this money, but maybe it's fortunate because I'll be able to go to our shop instead and buy, uh, I guess a bomb is what I'm looking for, so... I'll pick... Oh! Bumbo can get it! Bumbo can fly! I didn't realize. My mistake. At least I made the most of the one or two pennies that I picked up with a uh, counterfeit penny. Not even sure if we got the trigger for it, but I'll, I'll take it either way. Help. Good. Bumbo can't take that. Come on. Just a bomb drop. We should go back and find our secret room. Open parentheses S as well. There we go. Second level Bumbo. Still nothing to really be super thrilled about, but at least he exists. And this is our secret room. Our secret room gives us... A bomb! Okay, that's actually extremely valuable. I guess we just proceed to what I assume is going to be our deal with the devil here. Or deal with the angel, I hope. But, um... We'll find out sooner. Soon enough, I should say. I'm trying to avoid saying the same, you know, phrase over and over. Still the same, like, I recorded a, a daily today, and I talked about how I got, like, two hours of sleep last night because I couldn't get Empire State of Mind out of my flipping head, but... You know, they, they, I, I mentioned that not to brag, like, oh, look at my taste in music. I listen to this uh, rap artist. Have you heard of him? His name is JZ. No, it's, uh... It's more just, like, extremely Northern Lion-y. You can't sleep because you get a song stuck in your head. And inevitably, that's how it gets, you know, burrowed into my brain to the point that I can actually, uh... You know, maybe write a, an off-handed parody for it or something like that. I guess I should try to take out the um, human popcorn first because he's spawning so many enemies I can't even hit him. These enemies are the worst, man. These should be like Death's enemies, in my opinion. I normally remain non-vocal about um, balance changes to Isaac. These enemies are too fucking hard for this section of the game, in my opinion. 
Look at how long it took us to kill that guy. That's like fighting Envy, basically. I would rather fight Envy than do this room again. At least Envy has the chance to pay out with something that could replace the D4. Oh, Lord. Finally did it. Got half a red heart out of it. Well worth it. Okay, this is actually really nice. The Fallen. Um, if we don't die... Okay, that's a really bad start on that track. Looks like we might be doing a second Lost Run here. <laughs> if, I, <clears throat> if I fuck this one up. We're too slow! We got the speed down! What am I supposed to do? Restart. Okay, well, don't don't pay too much attention to that seat, I guess. Uh, that's really unfortunate. You know what? I'm going to restart until we start with an item room next to us, just to see what we get. Okay, I'm not doing that one. I'm sorry. Just trying to engineer a slightly better start here. That's not going to do it. We have been, you know, doing our due diligence not holding R lately, so I don't mind taking a little extra time to try to get something half-decent. Sure, Leo could give us some stompiness. And we could get something from our curse room, but I'm really holding out for just, like, a single damage upgrade from our item room would be a nice assurance that we're kind of in this to win this, you know? Just trying to make sure we're only doing the cream of the crop for the rest of this video. And then we'll show the seed on that one, because we're no matter what, we're very unlikely to die before, like, the cave is part one, as we saw in that last run. The best item we got in that last run was Bumbo, but we didn't even really get to the point where it had, I wouldn't even say, peak effectiveness. It didn't have any effectiveness, basically. Just ate my money. Are you fucking kidding me? Small rock, at least? With that not being small rock, I'm just gonna restart. Come on! At least put me next to an item room. Okay, well, we can't really take a uh, black market, unfortunately. Could check our cursed rooms. Probably should check our cursed rooms by being lazy. That's not good. I'm not asking for the world here. I'm really just asking for, like, um... Stigmata? Like, that's a modest ask. Oh, sure, we'll take fucking fruitcake. Here we go. Here's our seed. Ulja 43E1. I don't think fruitcake is a great item for us. Um, in fact, I think fruitcake could conceivably kill us if we get hive mind with it. But it also has the potential to, you know, the whole run's about rolling the dice. Fruitcake is a real roll of the dice, because we can just as easily get, you know, Godhead or Holy Shot, Holy Light, I guess I should say, as we could, uh, get something terrible, so... I, I, I like the variance. Now, this would be a great time for a Holy Light shot, because... Good God, this room could be a little tricky. These Head of the Keeper shots are... I'm loving them right now. There we go, a Sticky Bomb shot. If he doesn't teleport, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Maybe Fruitcake is a little bit better than I'm giving it credit for. We get Ball of Bandages, which I think is acceptable. Mostly to be used as a, an orbital defensively. Not really meant for offensive purposes uh, at this point in my lost lifespan. Okay, I'm, I'm becoming very pro fruitcake on this run, I gotta admit. We have a lot of bombs as well. Uh, in here, Dead Onion, I will take it because it gives us piercing shots attached to our fruitcake shots no matter what. Now, some of these shots are gonna be absolutely dead in the water. They're just not gonna do anything. Um, watch out for those, like, explosive shots. Um, and the explosive shots are gonna fall directly in front of us as a result of, you know, this Dead Onion action, but... I still think it's a good choice, and, you know, Small Rock is a very nice pickup. We More than anything, now we need, like, shot speed, but... Hopefully we can make that happen. We can always use our orbital if we get scared. You know, as of right now, it's very unnecessary. For most of these situations. Could go to our shop, maybe? We should, we should find our shop. It seems very sensible. It seems like the right thing to do. Yeah, especially now. Um... And there it is. This could be the run that we've been waiting for for a while. Um, the Bible's not going to do it, but Jar of Flies is... Oh, right, I can't afford it yet. I don't want to blow up our donation machine because it gives us that deal with the devil chance. Uh, instead, we'll take Jar of Flies, which I think actually has the potential to be awesome for us. Shouldn't even say potential. It just is an awesome item. Let's out of here. We got Little Horn. So we want to keep ourselves fairly far away because, yeah, those shots. We have explosive, like, Ipecac shots that come out sometimes, so... Just keep yourself as far away as possible. Once we get a better shot speed, we can get a little bit more flexibility, but for now... There we go. He will be dead when that explodes. Can't take our deal with the devil. Super happy to get a damage plus shot speed upgrade. Basically as good as it gets. We needed both of those. 
All right, so as compared to the last run, this run's looking really nice right now. Oh, we should try it. Guppy's head, maybe? Let's just make some flies first. Cursed Eye makes very little difference. Actually, might be good for us here. Because of the fact that it gives us the ability to, um, to teleport? No, but we'll... I, I think Cursed Eye basically only gives us its, uh, its tier effect bonus. It doesn't give us the curse penalty. Whether or not you think that's good or bad, I mean, it, it's better than having to suffer the penalty. It still might not be amazing, but... Uh, depending on your perspective again. But uh, it's certainly better than uh, than if we did suffer the curse for it. There we go. Finally landed a shot in there. Again, it's not really so much about range right now. It's more about... Um, it's more about shot speed, so even if I picked up, well actually this would be a great pickup, don't let me phrase it like it's, it would be poor, but uh, if I could pick up um, the speed ball, I'd be pretty stoked. Anything that gives us a better chance to dodge and a much better chance to kill enemies is awesome in my book right now. Thank you, Head of the Keeper, keeping us financially salient. No keys. Actually, not really that big of a piss off right now. Of course, the more items you have, the better, but this is actually probably the best lost chance we've had in a long time. For, for Mega Satan, at least. Um, we still got a long way to go, and of course, you know, the obvious thing that is still not completely set in stone is whether or not we'll even get the Angel Statues, so... Let's not get too, uh, you know, high on our horse just yet. Anything could happen. 23 cents. I still think the item room is more valuable. And I'm trying not to pop uh, the Jar of Flies, because I'd really like to have 20 flies easily hit the Angel Statue. Might as well take it, I guess. The Black Bean. What a terrible pickup. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Curse of the Unknown. Uh, Curse of the Blind, I should say. Alright, give me... Oh, okay, be cool. That's not cool. Um, That's not gonna... Oh, well, actually, that could be our secret room. It's not. I don't know what happens with the golden... Uh, heart, I'm assuming that it just basically disappeared as soon as I picked it up. This feels like a secret room to me. It is indeed. Second secret room. Plenty of runes. Don't do this. I really don't want to pop Jar of Flies. Awaz rune, Perthro rune. Perthro is what we're going to take. Blank rune gave us vision. Algis gives us resistance. So we got two Perthro runes. We also have an Awaz rune. Maybe we could find a crawl space. Not a crawl space. So we take Perthro. I recognize that we have Algis. And Algis seems like an amazing rune to have as the lost. So I am thinking that maybe I'm making the wrong decision here. But I'm I'm still pretty confident that this is right. If we can re-roll maybe the deal with the angel into something better. Well, at least it's not items that I'm going to be tempted to get. Uh, let's, let's save our key head down to the next floor. I know that we have a shop here. I'm trying to keep a little bit of momentum up. What do you got for me? And not worth our only key. The Mark is a great pickup. Semi-tempted to re-roll just to, I don't know, be a shithead, I guess. Didn't even use my Jar of Flies on that floor, because really felt like um, I was waiting for the Angel Statue. I guess I should probably maybe just pop it right now, and that'll carry me through, like, you know, five or six remaining rooms. Remember, you only get the charge on Jar of Flies if your tears kill them. You don't get it if, you're, if your Flies kill them, so you have to be careful about that. Careful might not be the right word, but let's move onwards. I care more about the item room in the shop than I do about that golden chest in that mob trap room for now, but now we might as well go for it. And, you know, I guess we got a dime out of it, so I'm feeling pretty positive. We also got, um, I didn't really mention it on the last floor, but second level ball of bandages. How do I feel about that? It's... I mean, the first level gives us so much more utility. The second level is just like an accent to it. I'd rather have, you know, almost anything else. But as the Lost, I'm not going to be too picky because a lot of other things are, are worthless. Like, HP is not going to do anything for us. That's probably the most common, uh, uh, the most common boss pickup. So, I guess I can't really complain too much about something that does make us, like, doubtlessly a lot better. Well, not a lot better, but better at least. Okay, we did fine. We're doing well. I, I, I took this room almost as practice, like dodging practice, so that we can see where we stand, and I think we're standing relatively tall right now. 
Another rune. And another pill, actually, as well. The gaz purges whatever curse we may have had, which is probably none. Oh my god! Should have taken it in a different order, I guess. I'm assuming that curse still applies. Do have some money back there. We got 20 flies. Does that sound like a like a mafia nickname? Hey, I'm Tony 20 flies. And now that's offensive. Not everybody in the mafia is named Tony. Okay, you know. I just I didn't pick it because it's an Italian name. I chose it because it uh, has a, the alliterative effect. Tommy 20 flies. You can use Tommy. You can use Tony. You could use Jennifer, you know? I, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Probably shouldn't shoot for a while because I got hit there. And plenty of money, that's for sure. Now, Perthrow hasn't done much yet, but... Oh, you know what? We did purge our Curse of the Blind, right? So we probably got like a Curse of the Maze or something. That's a that's a fair trade. Ah, uh, we have to take it. Can't lower our HP. But no deal with the Angel. Alright, well, a little scared. Little scared. Dank Depths one, still no key pieces. And you know, no no real way around that. We've been hit once. Be cool. Could all go south pretty quick. We can go into our curse room. This will be a really bad room to get hit on. This will be a great time to get a Joker card though. Emperor to a hearts. Just stick with Perthro for now. Maybe could get value out of the Emperor, but I just Sort of don't really care about, uh, you know, trying to min-max the Emperor card right now. I think that's semi-irrelevant. We don't really need to skip the entire floor to be able to handle the boss. Like, we we should be able to handle this floor. If we can't, we're not going to be able to beat, you know, Mom, much less Mega Satan. So, let's not try to finagle this one too much just yet. Don't need to be pulling out those combat tricks quite yet. Okay, I mean, E. coli is fine. We saw this on an earlier Lost Run. It does make it possible to kill enemies uh, during your period of invincibility thanks to Holy Mantle. So, there's something to be said for that. But it's not uh, an amazingly great item. Similarly, you know, we keep getting all this money, but we, we never have an opportunity to use it. I should have perthrowed the Turdy Touch. What am I thinking? I guess I'm saving it for a deal with the Angel where... Uh, ay, 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 ay. I guess I'm saving it for a deal with the Angel where the variance uh, has the potential to be a little bit more rewarding. Like we could reroll um, the Holy Grail into Godhead or something like that, which would be, uh, I'd be... I'd be for it. I would be pro that. We don't need any more bombs for now. Don't get on my butt about bombs. we got bigger problems. We're not losing these runs because I don't have quite enough bombs. And I don't think it's symptomatic of a larger problem on these lost runs. Oh! That's fine. It's actually, like, completely fine. We get meaninglessly teleported uh, to safety. Infested. Not really worth much. With 30 touch, maybe. Probably not, though. <laughs> Probably not worth the, the risk. Okay, I did get hit there. So be smarter. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, don't shoot because you may still explode on this room. Might as well take Isaac's head. Red chess, I'll be interested in. Everything else, not really. Oh, stone chess, I'll be interested in. My bad. Mm, pinky eye or Isaac's head? Probably pinky eye. I've come down a lot in my estimation of how good this trinket actually is, but... I, uh, I'm still pro having an extra status effect if we basically have none right now. I, honestly, just teleport me out. See if I care at this point. Okay, super easy. We're really, really hoping for a deal with the... Well, why not, right? We're really hoping for a deal with the Angel at this point. It's pretty much the, the swing point for the run right now. Whether or not we have a chance to win or just a chance to finish. You know, this is a subtle difference, but it's a difference that's meaningful nonetheless. Let's get our... Uh, Jar of Flies ready for hopefully dropping 20 of them on uh, the Angel Statue. Because, yeah, I figured we were pretty close to the boss fight here. It's Monstro 2. Monstro 2 would benefit from uh, from using Jar of Flies. 
We've already got him halfway down. Why mess with it? Should have dodged way earlier there, but... There we go. 90% of the way dead. 100% of the way dead. Please. I beg you. HP up. The time has come to per throw the HP up into another HP up. Down to the next floor. <laughs> I started a joke. Started the whole world laughing. Well, on the bright side, we did get um, Curse of the Unknown, which is effectively not a curse right now. I'm going to start to get a little impatient, I think, because I'm very disappointed with the way that this run has looked so far. Thank God that didn't hit me, because I would be dead when I exited. I, I guess I could have lived eternally as long as I just stayed in that room, but that doesn't do too much for us. Might as well pop this again. Got two keys. I don't really want to reroll our whole run, honestly. I, I, I'm quite happy with our damage. It's just the, the extraneous circumstances surrounding the run, which are really terrible right now. We haven't even had the opportunity to donate money in two flippin' floors. Prayer card does nothing for us, so let's donate on this guy. Don't blow him up, because he'll give you a deal with the devil. Well, a much better deal with the devil chance, at least. I believe. I'm, I, the keys are useful. I don't mind. You got a really good chance to stay at 99 cents forever and get no value out of it, so... Oh, my lord. Joker? Suicide King? What am I going to do with that? I'm going to use it accidentally. And there's our HP upgrade. Fantastic. Just another day in the life of uh, Northern Lion trying to beat the Lost. Okay, give me a second curse. See if I care. Hit me with your best shit. Come on and hit me with your best shit. Hit me with your best shit. Fire away. And that's exactly what's happening right now. I mean, I guess we can go to that double key room. Because our hope may be that it is a... Oh, okay. Could be like a five room. Could be a four room. And then we should have left the HP. But what a, what a disaster here. But yet, somehow, we find ourselves, like, completely still alive. So it can't be that bad. Except it is. Well, it is and it isn't. I guess I would rather have a high damage and, and have a run that's fun, instead of, like, low damage but all the key pieces. Inevitably, both of them are going to end with the same result. At least we're having a fun time along the ride for this one. Um... I, I think we've got the right setup. Like, I, I don't think we need any of this. But we will donate to try to... Okay, never mind. Hit me with your best shit. This run is pretty much facing oblivion unless we find a, an angel statue on this floor. Which is possible. Likely? No, sir. Yeah, I didn't need that key anyway. Uh, possible? Yes, extremely plausible, possible. Um, what do we got here? I hate everything. Uh, I, I still can't take it, as far as I'm concerned. Like, I still need to try to get the key pieces. So, we're, we're going to. Like, never let anyone try to tell you I'm not doing these runs in good faith. Like, I'm going hard on these key pieces, man. I just want to focus here, because this fight can be real tricky sometimes, with uh, only the ability to get hit once. We did fine. We got boss rush. We know what that deal with the devil is. We could take the deal with the devil items and hope for dad's key, but I'm, I believe the game is going to work out better for us. Just looking for dad's key, basically. I, I Maybe I could take Suicide King, but it seems a little... Or, sorry, maybe I could take Ipecac, but it seems a little too risky. So we'll stick it. We're on the womb one here. Curse of the Blind. Fantastic. As if I needed any more uh, hindrance to accomplish my overall objective here. I think we got it. Yeah. Golden chest? Regular chest. That's better. And callus does nothing for us because we can fly. But I appreciate it. Oh, wait. That's not. Uh, it's two different things. My mistake. Doesn't really matter. At this point, I'm very confident in our ability to beat Mom's heart. The problem just becomes, you know, how do we... Oh, that's good. 
getting close to spun. Uh, the problem just becomes how the heck do we get Mega Satan killed? And really, the only conceivable way is, is the key pieces or the world's luckiest dad's key. Which, if it happens, sign me up, man. I'm interested. But until then, this is yet another, you know, episode in the Chronicles of Northern Line getting fucked on the lost attempts. At least our keys are coming in here. Remember, we don't have to do hush. The hush stuff has already been accomplished. That provides us with no value. Oh, okay. That's that's not bad. I was kind of hoping we were going in the right direction right off the bat, though. Um, at this point, if we found a deal with the devil, we might take it. And let me explain my reasoning for that. If we don't get an angel statue on this floor, we need to get one on the next floor and then also get a joker card and then also get a deal with the angel on the floor that we use the joker card on. So we, you get into this situation where you're like, there's probably like a less than 5% chance. Maybe we just instead take our free deals with the devil finally. Of course, it's better if you do that from the get-go, but how are we supposed to know, right? Um, and then you just, you take your free deals with the devil to make yourself strong enough that if a miracle happens and if dad's key shows up, then you can have a better chance to beat Mega Satan. Uh, but in our current situation, we still have the faintest glimmer of hope, but it really has to happen pretty much right now. We need to fight Mega Satan. Or sorry, we need to fight an angel statue. We have the bombs, we have the damage, no problem. And there's another HP up. This is actually an anomaly in our uh, in our lost Mega Satan challenges because it's uh, a situation in which we've had actually really good luck, I think, from the items we've picked up in the game so far. Like, we've gotten, by traditional standards, a pretty good run. The problem is that we haven't gotten the key pieces. Whereas on all the other lost runs we've done, we've had the key pieces, but not the, uh... Not the means with which to kill Mega Satan, for sure, without dying. Part of that's obviously my own idiocy at times. Probably a couple of runs in there, we could have made it happen. But they were, they were tight runs, too. It wasn't like we were balling out of control on those. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm making excuses more. I'm just trying to set the stage for the narrative we've got going on here. I would rather this be an unforgettable run than a forgettable run. And I'm hoping that's what we're able to make happen here. Freaking red dingle charges four times, man. Good, 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 good. This is a terrible boss fight. I mean, it probably does get worse, but uh, get worse than this, I should say. This fight itself will not get any worse, but um, it's, it's a lot of enemies here that all have their own little assholishness going on. No deal with the angel. We do get spun, though. Okay. Now we're hoping for two... I'm, I mean, even as I say it, I'm like, this is not going to happen. Two Joker cards. On subsequent floors. And, as if that were not unlikely enough, they also both have to give us deals with the devil. Hit me with your best shit. Come on, just hit me with your best shit. They've hit me with their best shit. On the bright side, I mean, look, at, we have a great chance of beating uh, Isaac. And any chance you have to beat Isaac, you know, on a... Or not Isaac, but uh, Blue Baby. Any chance you have to beat Blue Baby on a Lost Run is not a... Uh, it's not a waste of your time. You know, you're still practicing with the loss. You still accomplish the, a pretty impressive feat. Might as well check for red chests, I guess. Okay. But it's, it's of course, not the overt goal we set out for when we started this. So, it does, uh, it loses a little bit of its luster, unfortunately. And that's, that's a darn shame, because I would love to be happier with where this run is at right now. Because I think we've played pretty well. What do we need the nickel for at this point? Good. Uh, look, we probably should take the key, but I'm not going to take the key. That's my own act of civil disobedience to the game right now. It's like a hunger strike. It hurts me, but at the same time... Okay, I'm going to take the key. They, they got the message. Don't worry. It was heard loud and clear. As we head downwards, we have not been here yet. Whipworm, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably fairly easily convinced that Whipworm is better than Poison Touch. Or not Poison Touch, which we also have, but um, Whipworm is better than um, 
pinky eye, but uh, if it ain't broke for now, why why try to fix it? Judgment. Ah, I was hoping that would not be a demon judgment. We were so close to him, I actually thought we might get hit there. All right, so we do have a bit of a moment of truth. I mean, the mom's heart fight is not easy. Oh, you know what? We could get a deal with the devil here as well. If we get a deal with the devil here, then we only need one Joker card, which is possible. Or we could teleport to our uh, angel room on, you know, a, a secret room or via a secret room, I guess I'm trying to say here. There's a non-zero theoretical chance. And it would, it would just make the run that much more special if I... Oh my god, it's a fucking deal with the devil. Did I take a deal with the devil accidentally and then this is my punishment? I know we have the mark, but I didn't take the mark from a deal with the devil. It was free. That, that doesn't give you the precedent. So at this point, I took the deals with the devil because I'm like, the only chance for us is really to get dad's key. So um, we got Incubus and Little Brimstone, which are both great items in their own right. Watch these guys drop a fucking joker. That could have teleported us to a deal with the angel. Don't even do it. Don't even think about it. Oh my god. Okay, it's a question mark card. Doubles our active item. It doesn't really work, I think, for a uh, jar of flies, but... That would have been funny. As soon as I saw that it was like a playing card instead of a tarot card, you're just like, ah, shit. I could have easily been killed about three times right there. Uh, instead, we've made it out. That was, that was very lucky. Probably should just leave, but we finished the room, so why not? Probably should not shoot in the same direction we're walking either, because, yeah, the explosive shots that you just heard right there. Yeah, get get some flies out there. This is going very well. I mean, we have, like, a really good run. It's just not quite good in the way I needed it to be. Small rock? Don't have small rock yet, I think. That was last run. The doomed run. Three. We have to look at it because it's three red chests. One could theoretically teleport us to a deal with the angel. Not anymore though because I've already taken a deal with the devil. I don't know what I'm hoping for then. One could theoretically give us dad's key outright. Probably not though because I don't think that is even literally possible at this point. It really does come down to opening dad's key on the chest. Hopefully we just open it from our first... I mean, I'm acting as if it's an inevitability that we will open it. But at this point, I gotta have hope, right? Let's have, uh, let's have some hope that that actually works out. Even though it's so unlikely. If we're gonna open it, I would really love to open it right off the bat. I have an appointment this afternoon. This 23 minute long lost run is way ahead of expectations. <laughs> I don't want to have to explore an entire floor. That's just outrageous. To be honest with you, if we don't get it right away, I'll probably just pursue the boss room, like the blue baby fight, and then if we fight blue baby, tap out, basically. Even if we haven't explored absolutely everything. Some people will be mad, but, you know, the way I think of it is basically like, you're trying to force it. If it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. You know, again, every room probably has like a 1 in 500 chance of giving you dad's key specifically. It has to pay out with an item. The item has to be dad's key. It's unlikely. I don't even want to tempt fate on that one in case we get hit. Ah, okie dokie. Almost done with the cathedral, I'm sure. Probably just this one little stretch and then I oh my god it's another dead end how many floors in a row well maybe not in a row but how many floors now have we had curse of the unknown man or curse of the lost I haven't been able to see shit for like half the game guess we're going to the right what's amazing to me is that this is still like such a good run like we're at 25 minutes on the cathedral we totally would have had... I mean, I'm not saying we would have beaten Mega Satan, but we would have had a legitimate shot at it, I think. I mean, part of the reason we're doing so well now is because of Incubus and uh, Little Brimstone, which we couldn't have had were it not for our complete failure. But, uh, you know, still, I, let's let's ignore that for now. I was still doing pretty well even before that point. Should have saved, uh, saved my flies for sure. Oh, well. Life goes on. 
Here we go, Isaac fight. This is probably the first time in a little while where, you know, things could go legitimately wrong on this one. Hoping for some good, like, explosivo holy light shots to get through this phase as quickly as possible. I have not been hit thanks to my, uh, orbitals. Thank you very much, orbitals. You're too good to me. Played with fire a little bit right there. That's a really good explosivo shot, but I think he moved before it exploded. I couldn't tell. All right, this could be our final wave. We landed a holy light shot, explosivo, and a freeze. Godhead. Okay, we're good. Down to our final floor, where we have a genuine chance to win as the lost. But I will not consider this win as good as it could have been. Dad's key. Nope. 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 And no technology. I don't even know about that one. Could be. The rest of the items are, are basically bad for us, at least right now. So now we begin the inenviable situation of doing all the rooms, at least on the way to the blue baby fight, assuming we live that long. Uh, and uh, hoping that they just drop Dad's key. The odds of this are infinitesimal at this point, but we gotta give it a shot. And again, with, with every run where this happens, you, you start to think, man, I hate these deal with the angel mechanics. But, we persevere. Battery charge doesn't do anything. We did get hit on that room. I wasn't too pleased with myself. Oh, we've been hit again. We could die on this room. In many ways, I'm already dead on the inside from having not gotten the angel statue, but... We lived. Let's continue. Don't lose, don't lose hope completely yet. It's probably good to be realistic, but at the same time, we're still in this. And a win is still a win. Okay, kill death as soon as possible. I fucked it. I fucked it. I lived. Probably should have been killed by a silkworm there. I guess we were still in that period of uh, invincibility from having been hit earlier. Stop shooting. Alrighty. Loki's easier to kill, so let's do that. I'm actually really liking Juicy Sack. Basically just coming up to help me. No chests at all. Like, Juicy Sag just, like, spawns a spider, and then the spider kills, like, any familiars that the enemy spawns. It's a good situation. I have been hit. For fuck's sake, don't die to four monstros. That's just, like, I wouldn't say it's uh, unacceptable, but it is a little embarrassing. Or would have been a little embarrassing. If that nightmare had become a reality. Still no chess. Okay, we have to look for our secret room as well, because there actually is a semi-decent chance that maybe we could teleport into our, you know, deal with the devil via red chest secret room or something like that. Deal with the angel. I don't know. Just to, There's a chance we can get a key beggar that could give us a good chance of getting an item. There's, there's chances. I beg of you. Just want to check this so we can be 100% sure I made the right or wrong decision. Okay. I mean, we've got so many bombs. Yet another key I can't do anything with. Oh, I, you know, again, as negative as I may have seemed, I'm still pretty pro this run right now. I'm still happy we, we did well. You know, I think we played well. I don't think we had a, a run that was tough to win with. But I'm happy that... Even if we die at this point, I'll, I'll say the same thing. I think we, we've done right by the run. You know, we, we've given this one every every chance we had, basically. Probably a couple skulls I could have blown up to try to finagle a, you know, a Joker card. But if they're not going to give me deals with the Angel, they're not going to give me deals with the Angel. Uh, I will be done in, like, less than three minutes. All right. Uh, I guess we should pop Jar of Flies here. That hurt us right off the bat. Um... Bunch of bunch of pins. I did not get hit there. That's actually kind of amazing. Second secret room could still teleport us, but again, I don't think I'm really looking for teleports. I'm looking for looking for chests. You can look on the mini map and see that we did not miss a chest back there. Now that one is dead, we should live. Yeah, no problems. And it's our final room. And I think at this point, you know, the writing's on the wall. We will probably beat Isaac. We have a, a good chance. Or sorry, probably beat Blue Baby. We have a good chance, at least, but we are going to have to give up the ghost of this uh, 
with this Mega Satan attempt. And that's very unfortunate, because this was a fun run. It was a good run. I feel like my senses are tuned right now. I'm making good decisions. Dodging in situations that are actually fairly tough, but, you know, coming through in the clutch. Every extra freeze helps us out a lot. Man, it takes forever to get a little brimstone charged up. Loving the Incubus, though. And we're done. I gotta at least check the second secret room, but apart from that, we are out. It's a successful run, and it's the most wonderful time of the year, but, uh, okay. I think that's... I'm tapping out. 30... Under 31 minute lost run where we won, but, uh, no Mega Satan victory. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, thanks for watching. Well, even if you didn't, thanks for watching. And, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.